Hi, I'm Shane Chapman from the Ultimate Deck Shop, and on this edition of Deck Shop Shorts, we're talking about the proper fasteners to use in your joist hangers. Baby, I got another trick up my One of the most common mistakes that people use when they're building a deck is they may actually have some hangers on there, which is probably the right decision, but they've probably used the wrong fasteners, which is a very dangerous mistake to make. We've seen everything from drywall screws to flooring screws to roofing nails used to fill these holes. And listen, those are not used for those things. That's why they're called flooring screws and drywall screws and roofing. They're for those applications. They don't have the shear strength required to hold your deck up onto your house. And so the worst part of that is that your deck falls off the house and that's not any good for anybody. So what you're supposed to use for these uh, is a structural nail or screw. And so traditionally these were used with what's called a 10D nail or three inch nails, inch and a half nails, Tico nails. You'll see them referred to as different things, but you ha would have to drive those in with a hammer or sometimes with a pneumatic nailer or battery nailer or whatever. But nowadays Simpson Strong Tie has released these awesome little SD screws, these little structural hanger screws. So these are fantastic because there's no hammering anymore. These will drive in with a standard drill or impact driver. And if you're on a big job with the crew, you can have multiple guys with ham without specialty tools, just with the drills, putting these little guys in. And so these are sold in a number nine and a number 10 size for heavier duty applications. These are meant to go into the hangers. They have the appropriate shear strength so that they're not gonna snap off. They're gonna keep your deck safe. Now they're sold in inch and a half long uh, options and two and a half inch long options. There is a reason for the two different sizes. On a typical joist hanger, you've got holes through the face of the hanger, but you've also got these angled spots on the side of the hanger. And so the short ones, the inch and a halfs, are meant for going through those straight holes into your ledger board that's only an inch and a half thick. That's why you don't want longer ones. The shorter ones will work well for that application. The angled holes, however, are designed to have a longer screw or nail run through it so that they have a double shear capacity with the nails crisscrossing behind the lumber. And so these angled shots, it's gonna go through your joist into the ledger one direction with two and then the other direction with the other two to kind of crisscross and give you extra strength. Don't use deck screws, flooring screws, drywall screws. Don't use anything but an approved nail or screw for your hangers. It's one of the most common mistakes and issues with decks falling off the house. These are not expensive. They're very inexpensive. Use a proper screw and keep your family safe. Thanks for tuning in. Comment below if you have any questions and we'll see you next time. Baby, I got another trick up my sleeve.